girls how are you welcome to my youtube channel this is she shiro me i appreciate all the people who've been uh, subscribing to the new subscribers welcome home and for those who've not subscribed press on the subscription box just before we continue right thank you so much thank you for doing that i really appreciate so we're still in the series of making the 10 different ways of making rice and now i have a question did you know that you can actually use rice to make a dessert did you did you <laughs> so rice sio kupika tu kina pilau kina nini nini kila jello no it's not just about cooking like that rice can also be used as a dessert so today is this going to be one of these things that i'm going to be teaching you how to do and we have two there's one that is very famous in tanzania and um, it's called um, vitumbua so that's one and the other thing that you're going to be making is called puto these things are so so similar these desserts let me call them desserts not things <laughs> so these desserts are so similar yeah but imagine one is from uh, it's so it's widely used in um philippines and it's called puto so shout out to my family who are the philippines yay <laughs> yes so i'm going to be making puto and then i'm going to be making the tomboa these ones they can be used as desserts you can use them for parties if you have a party you can make them because they're not very hard to make so i'm just going to introduce to you quickly what we have here wow so here comes our ingredients we have a quarter of uh, just uh, rice this quarter of rice is like 250 grams yeah so <laughs> yes you use a quarter then i have a pinch of salt just a pinch of salt just to taste a little then i have cardamom in swahili they call it iliki yes that is one teaspoon this is optional i have two teaspoons baking powder and from the left i have one egg i have one cup of coconut milk and a cup of sugar so for the rice guys you can use any type of rice that's a good thing about uh, this uh, puto yeah so in chela what we're going to do is you have to wash it wash it a couple of times until it becomes clean like the water is clear then soak it for overnight is better but you can soak it for five minutes for sorry not five minutes you can soak it for five hours if you don't have like a lot of time to spare like doing the overnight but it's better to just do it overnight yeah so that it gives you the best of this yeah so after washing and you've soaked it then you blend it and then you're gonna mix everything together yep so what we had done yesterday we soaked already some for you so that it's just going to be straight on uh, we soaked this yesterday and I know you can see there's something yellow inside. So this is just an onion, uh, no, <laughs> sorry, a lemon peel. This is just a lemon peel. Why you put it in is to prevent the rice from smelling. You know, if you just put it overnight, it, the rice has this what, it just, there's a way it starts smelling. So that is supposed to help it to put the smell away. Yep, since I had told you that we're going to be making two desserts with our rice, I'm going to be dividing this rice into two portions. So one is going to be making puto and the other one is going to be making vitumbua. Yep, so I'm just going to divide it, mix everything in the blender, then we're just going to blend everything together. Remember the portions that I have here of uh, one egg, the iliki, that is the cardamom, sugar. This is just for only one portion and the portion we are making first is for puto. I've just poured in the sugar, that is one cup of sugar, which you can actually reduce, just depends with how you want the sugar to taste. I'm now pouring in my two teaspoons of uh, baking powder and that is a pinch of salt my iliki cardamom one 
egg and now I'm just going to be pouring in one cup of coconut milk and ready to blend them together. Doing right here is I'm blending. <laughs> So this is how it looks and this is the consistency see yes right now I'm just going to be adding the vanilla essence guys this is optional I just want it to be more tastier that is why I'm putting in the vanilla constantly stir it so that the rice doesn't go to the bottom then what I'm going to be doing right now is I'm going to get just a little portion of it into a cooking pot or souffleria. This is called the starter. You have to cook this one so that you can be able to mix it with the other rice. I'm also dividing a little more just to add on color. Optional guys, this is just for fun and that is why I'm having it on the side so this is us here cooking our starter make sure it doesn't become too hard just cook it until it's a little bit looking like a porridge kind of mix it with the rest of the other mixture and if the lumps are too huge you can use a machine to just blend it or keep on stirring until the big lumps are completely done the consistency should be very, very smooth so that our cake doesn't have lumps. Happening here is I don't have a steamer. <laughs> so what I'm going to do is improvise mine. If you have a big souffle like this one, uneka majiki dogo, and then you can use this grill. E grill, ni letu ya microwave sondo taika hapo. This is where I'll put my puto and then I'll put it in and cover it. So this is where this is what you're going to do now. So this is just a home kitchen. <laughs> so what I'm doing is I'm just putting some olive oil on the sides to help it not stick. If you don't have any, you can still just use a knife to remove it from this from the pan itself. But this should help. There goes our colored puto. <laughs> okay, we're just going to mix this with the plain color. Remember, it's very optional, guys. It's up to just how you want it. This is just for fun. Like, if you have a birthday, you can just use the colors. Just whatever food color you have, you can use. And that is why I was doing this. Just to show that you can actually add colors onto this. Yep. remember not to fill it up so that you can give it some chance if it's going to uh, raise a little then you can have some uh, place so that it doesn't start overflowing yes so that's me there placing it on our improvised steamer <laughs> yep so thankfully i have a second layer so instead of doing it one at a time then i just place them all together but if you don't have two you can just place it on one then you can make the other one later cover it and this cooks up to 10 minutes cover it tightly and if you have a cloth it's better to cover it on top so it doesn't start steaming back to the cake yes as that is cooking let's continue making our vitumbua now we are going to be using the same blender so that's why there is no point of me cleaning it to make our vitumbua this is the coconut milk the egg Guys, everything we're using for Vitumboa is the same, exactly the same as for Poto. But I decided to add on some extras so that we can make it more tastier, as that is how we used to eat and how our coastal people and the Tanzanians cook it. So right now, what I'm going to be adding on to our Vitumboa is the cashew nuts and the cinnamon. 
just just a little extra of what we had already added on in our uh, puto. So these are the cashew nuts. We are going to blend them all together and half a teaspoon of together. cinnamon. And our vitumbo should be ready. <laughs> I've just added a vanilla essence that's just half a teaspoon you can add more and it's optional guys it's very much optional so the difference comes here between the vitumbua and the puto the pan that we're using for vitumbua is this one this is what we use for vitumbua and I'm just uh, adding on some olive oil on each and every uh, carving and I'm adding on this mix that is a Vitumbua mix. Do not fill it up because you will need some space for it so that it can cook even into the inside. Then you have to constantly check on this one as it's just cooking directly and this not steaming. So just keep flipping. on checking hmm. and when it's ready for flipping, it starts moving by itself in the curve. So keep on flipping all of them Just keep on checking when it's time to flip it becomes very easy it does a shiki yes like that one it's ready for flipping yes It's time for flipping now. Use a toothpick to Try check if it's more. ready and if it's ready, yes. uh, the toothpick should come out clear. clear. Then you can clear. serve it. Yes, it looks very clear. Let's check on our puto. There we go guys. This is how you check if it's ready. Just Let's check the same as the Vitumbua. Very, very similar. See, it should be clear. Yep, it's clean. So we've already taken it out. Can use a spoon. There goes our food pot. There we go, guys. This is the final product. I hope you enjoy it. Thank you so much for sticking around. Until now, we have finished with our pool top <laughs> and the vitumbo. Let's learn from each other. Let's learn from how the Philippines make it and from how the Tanzanian make it. And it's just the same thing, but from two different continents. And it comes out different. Exactly. Come to the end of our video today. I hope you've enjoyed. And if you like what we have made today, give it a thumbs up, subscribe, share it with your friends. And if you tried making it at home, give me your feedback i would love to hear from you this is shiro wadome see you till next time stay blessed